But the number one absolute craziest thing that the Japanese are working on is the railgun. Now, the United States, China, a bunch of other countries are trying to perfect this as well, but it looks like Japan is ahead of everybody here. And what makes the railgun so scary is that they fire projectiles without relying on anything explosive. Let's compare a railgun to its traditional counterpart, which is the 155 millimeter howitzer, okay? These guys deliver about 20 pounds of TNT, a great deal of damage. They could take out a tank. They could also destroy simple structures or even punch a hole through fortified ones. A railgun does 10 times more damage than 155 millimeter, but it is much more precise. So instead of having to clear a whole bunch of territory, they could just take out the exact structure that they want and it's gone, it won't be there anymore. Think of it this way, a target that would take hours of bombardment from a traditional howitzer would just take one shot from a railgun. Don't get me wrong, like I said, the Japanese are ahead on perfecting it, but they haven't completely done it because the energy needs of a railgun are so incredibly high and firing the projectile after a while begins to destroy the rails. 